So essentially, um, we have, uh, again, just this M formation, okay, in confluence with our 61 Fibonacci, in confluence to this well-respected zone. You can see if we look into the past, just by looking in the past, you can see it is well-respected. We have some support and previous resistance. And again, the candlesticks are slowing down, okay? Let's see. Yeah, it was really weird. I don't know what happened. Everything just, just uh, the call just ended for some reason. But it's, uh, let's just go ahead and get going. So, um, had CHF, we are still in this trade, still uh, in profits. Again, risk is um, our stop losses and stop profits. So essentially, this is a risk free trade. Okay, we had simple break, retest, continuation. You can see the candlestick is uh, engulfed the last. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven days. Okay. So I am definitely looking to hold on to this pair. And we just called this Euro AUD setup. Okay. The reason I personally called this trade was we had this uptrend, which was violated. You can see we had some strong wick rejection. You go ahead and zoom in. Okay. We had some strong wick rejection over here, some daily indecision, all right? Uh, pin bar, and you can see the size of the wick and go is bigger than the size of the body of the candlestick, okay? And then we had a doji right after that, and then a strong rejection. And uh, you can see it broke, retested this psycholo or quarterly sci uh, psychological zone. And I'm seeing some follow through on the four hour. Let me go ahead and refresh that. So again, just a break, retest, continuation. And uh, if we zoom or go down a little further on our time frames, we can see it also violated this trend line as well. Okay. So first TP is going to be 60 pips down to this well-respected zone over here. Second TP would be down here. Okay. And same thing with Euro NZD. Okay, they're looking... They're, they're the same, almost the same pairs because the NZD and AUD pairs are commodity-driven currencies. Uh, that's why they move uh, very similarly. Okay, so so essentially we have the same thing. It's breaking this trend line. Okay, and then if it does break, we have 300 pips to the downside. Okay, and then this is the center point of this of this um uh, ranging market. Okay, so we uh, identified the market is ranging, and then we were patient to see what happened once it got to the top of these uh this zone the ceiling okay and you see it had it was well respected and you can see the tip of this uh this wick is right where it bounced off okay followed by an engulfing candlestick some follow through small doji and now it looks it's looking like it's breaking this trend line so um might look to enter some more positions if it does okay so that's uh euro um nzd uh let's see pound nzd this pair is is i'm still holding off on this one there's some potential i'm seeing if it does violate this trend line okay you see it's well respected this zone in the past is well respected and uh, i'm seeing my moving averages are um are right below for uh dynamic support as well okay so i have to be patient on this one i'm seeing a w formation Again, if it does break, I'm looking to enter in this psychological zone, but I would need an impulsive move to convince me that uh, buyers are taking control, okay? <clears throat> USD JPY, um, also a sell that we called. You see it violated this trend line. We had an um, impulsive move to the downside, correction, and I believe this was a, let me see, 61 Fibonacci exactly in confluence with our uh, our moving averages. Okay, so we had a huge impulse, and I doubt we're gonna get uh, a deeper retracement. But you know, the market can do whatever it wants. You know, I have no expectations. But right now, I am currently in a sell, 30 pip stop loss, right above these recent highs. Okay, so I'm looking to see some follow through. 
All right, again, after I broke this uh, flag correction, we had an impulse move to the downside and I entered off this key psychological zone that does have some confluence in the past, okay? So if we go on, again, going on to the weekly time frame, you can see that it's a bearish market, okay? Just by judge, uh, looking at the candlesticks, okay? You can see this candlestick engulfed the body of this one right here, okay? So I'm, I'm seeing some potential continuation, uh, at least to the downside, okay? least of these zones down here you can see even if we drag this out to the past it's well respected okay and i believe that is it definitely um that gold and euro aud are i'm keeping my eyes on as well as um the euro nzd but if you guys have any questions you know don't hesitate to hit us up i'm going to post this video as soon as it's done uh rendering and um yeah is there any pairs you guys want me to take a look at Okay, I guess not. So um, I hope everyone is uh, having a wonderful evening. Again, we'll be back tomorrow um, to, again, to look over the pairs and to see what, uh, what's going to happen. All right. So I hope everyone has a wonderful evening and um, God bless.